can we make uh, as Prakashji, I'm making you co-host. Can you come on screen, please? Thank you. Thank you, Sunilji. Yes. I hi, hi. How are you doing? I am good, Sunilji. I am good, Sunilji. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very nice. Good evening, everyone. So, S. Prakash Ji uh, is from the IT background, and uh, all of you must have seen his books. Uh, he's written so many books Nakshatra, Pending Karma, you know, Past Life, Astrology, you know, and so many more books to come. So wishing you all the success for your books. He also is uh, uh, quite proficient in Bribu Nandina. So he is going to uh, talk today on timing of buying property with Bribu Nandina Nadi and transits. Am I right, uh, Mr. Prakash? Ji, 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 Sunil ji. Yes, yes. So those who do not know Bribu Nandina Nadi. There are so many books available. There are courses available on our site, on other people's site, etc. But as Prakashji will give you the basics today in a way that you understand his complete lecture. You know, I hope he does that. Okay, and I know time is shortage, but please go ahead. Let me not stop you on your journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Sunil ji. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. So. Uh... To begin with, I, I have a small question for everyone. Uh, I would like to know what is the supreme reason to learn this Vidya? I want to learn, I mean, I want to know from everyone if they are open, if they would like to share what is their supreme, you know, their purpose of, of learning this Vidya or Hindi, mein, if I would call it as. Sarvoch Koti ka koi karan koi bata sakta hai. Can anyone tell me the highest grade reason to learn astrology? Can anyone would like to participate and share their views and thoughts? Because it's a personal question. So everyone would not be you know able to share. But if anyone is willing to share, I would like to know what is their supreme purpose of learning this vidya and again i repeat in hindi sarvoch koti ka koi karan hai is vidya ko seekhne ka kisi ke paas koi wo bata sakta hai ki wo sarvoch koti ka karan mere paas ye hai i give you the clue is it something you want to make a money out of it is it something you want to make a name and fame for yourself or is it you want to be applauded in the public or is it or is it is it you would like to be surrounded by people have a lot of accolades or is it you want a luxurious life what is that is it a hint i am giving you can anyone tell me even if they write it is perfectly yes, fine Prakash, this is Vinodia. Yes, sir. See, this is my uh, thinking. Okay. Whatever the astrology we currently chart we have, it is our scan report of past birth. So, what all the corrections we can do? So, we need to, first of all, astrology, whenever you come to astrology, you are all, already in the path of moksha. Yeah. Which I rightly, if there is mistakes, which we need to find out and we need to correct ourselves. Correct. Correct. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. So one of the reasons I can, I can understand, I'm trying to rephrase, correct me if I'm wrong, that uh, it is actually for correcting our prarabdh. Though it is difficult, but the, the aim is to, you know, somehow we can, we can correct our prarabdh. So correct. very good. Any other, any other viewpoint from anyone? Okay, I would like to give you a very short story, which is, which is from the history. Actually, it is not something hypothetical. It's a 
it's a story and i'm sure uh, if i share i'll give you food for thought so once uh, there was a guy uh, named as mukund he brings his 10 years old child to uh, swami haridas ji swami haridas ji was a classical uh, singer who used to sing in gwalior uh, in the court of uh, man singh tomar and he was very prominent very famous personality so having thought that mukund brought his child his name was tanna and uh, his full name was ram tanu pande so when he comes over there swami haridas ji asked him that i have heard that you you know mimic the sound of uh, birds and you know other uh, uh, animals also so he does that he mimic and swami haridas ji was very impressed because the mimicry was he was doing it was it was basically pitch perfect notes so even though he was a child he was not sure what he was doing he was do, doing just out of fun but R- swami haridas ji accept him as his disciple so year on year passed by and when ramtanu reached his adolescent age so both of her, both of them were rehearsing so swami haridas ji noticed that he was not singing at his best so swami haridas ji asked him is there any problem with your singing today i am noticing that you are not you know pitching the notes correctly so tanna or ramtanu pande he says that guru ji how you know when the day will come i would be able to sing like you so that you know give him a smile to swami uh, haridas ji so he says tell me one thing what is your supreme purpose of learning this classical you know singing what is your service rest karan i need to know the highest grade ka karan mujhe jana i want to know the reason and he was clueless so tanna was clueless so he asked are you learning have you come to me for the learning because of you need name and fame or because you need money pride or you need something else so th- the conversation ended over there and then what happened ram tanu pande started his journey and he also began to sing in the same court where swami haridas ji was also singing in the court of man singh tomar and uh, there baju was also there so baju gave him the upadhi of tan sen that you will be known as tan sen because you sing like a, you know a, a divine uh soul or something you know th- there is a divinity in your voice so he gives him this upadhi that you will be known as tan sen and uh, after that so there is a story between that so i'm not going into the full story so what happens after that akbar summon him akbar came to know about this gentleman tan sen that he would also like him to be a part of his navratan so he sends his one messenger he goes to uh, the same court of man singh tomar and the messenger says that we would like to take tan singh with you know with us so again tan uh, so so tan singh was has no option but to you know join the uh, his court so there he was singing and then one day akbar asked him that you are a part of my navratna you are the best is there anyone better than you so he says yes there is one person and he is my guru and he asked who is this that guru then he said it is swami haridas ji so akbar asked birbal that call that gentleman in my court 
so birbal says he would not come to your court because he has no fear of life and death he is not worried about name fame he is not worried about anything he is basically devoid of any vasana kamna or desire so akbar says okay then what is the way to uh, you know to to make him sing for akbar so then tansen says that swami haridas he sings only for lord krishna and radha he will not be singing for you you may be the emperor for general people you may be the emperor for me but he you are not an emperor for swami haridas ji so tansen is give him a clue do one thing you i will help you meet him but you have to you know uh come in the disguise of a common general person not as a not as a emperor so and there also akbar gave him a one more upadhi as miya tansen so tannu becomes tansen and then later he becomes miya tansen and then uh two of them uh reached uh vrindavan and there they meet swami haridas ji so swami haridas ji uh basically came to know that this is the guy in the you know in the guise of a common man but he is an emperor so he came to know about this so anyways he he sings a song he sings you know a uh, some uh, a classical singing for for him and both of them came back and the last part of the story is that akbar asked tansen that you are tansen okay you are the best but what is the difference between you and your guru there should be some difference there should be some difference okay and what is the difference i am not able to understand akbar says i am clueless can you please help me understand so tansen says that he is a pure soul he is not afraid of anything he is not afraid of whether he will you know uh he will correct uh correctly sing or 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 not sing properly he is not afraid of anything he is devoid of basically of any man yash kirti or or you know any desire he doesn't need name and fame so then akbar ask the last question from tansen it means you are afraid of something so tansen says yes i am afraid of that i may fall down from my position i have gained so much in my life that i am afraid of that i may may fall down from my the position which i received in the court of akbar so he says that i may lose my wealth my name and fame so the so so the conclusion or the learning of this story is that you have to discover in fact all of us have to discover the supreme purpose of of doing anything we have to know the supreme purpose if we don't know the supreme purpose then we may not be able to justify tansen was synonymous with karma yoga however his guru was synonymous with karma yoga gyan yoga and bhakti yoga right so we have to understand the sarvoch koti ka karan to learn anything be it astrology or anything we have to have to know the highest grade reason okay so the focus on this story is on karan karan the cause the purpose anyways it's just to give you just to give you a food for thought and uh, let's begin uh, today's lecture so that we will not you know make other person wait who is have the next lecture uh, in line so let me share
Okay. Okay. So uh, our today's lecture is how to see the 